company, whether they're domestic or foreign, that does business in the United States can be held responsible under our products liability laws. In fact, we have a number of cases where we represent people who have been injured in automobiles made by Japanese manufacturers or Korean manufacturers or German manufacturers, so that it's very, um, it, it's a very important aspect of product liability law to hold companies that make products overseas and sell them in this country are uh, responsible if those products are unsafe. Well, that's a very difficult case to bring, but uh, there have been successful cases of, of smokers who have become addicted to cigarettes and are not able to uh, kick that addiction. And if you are addicted to cigarettes and you have been uh, you started to smoke, uh, particularly before the warnings came out in the 1960s, and you are uh, not able to, uh, to stop smoking and develop lung cancer as a result, then you may have a claim against tobacco company. There have also been lawsuits for secondhand smokers, people that have been in the household of smokers who have developed lung cancer, and that is a potential claim as well. No, class actions are not usually used in particular personal injury cases. Um, if you have bought a product and have uh, been misled into paying a price that you shouldn't have paid for a product, that may be a class action. But generally, an injury case is, um, is handled individually. Generally, we can investigate uh, the case to a very great extent before we, we file a lawsuit and we have to determine whether in fact you have a case before we file a lawsuit. So we do a lot of investigation. If you come to our office and you know the basic information that, that is the subject of your potential claim, we will investigate it and we will do all the legwork necessary to protect your rights. So from the time of your accident, you have two years to file the case. And there's usually no, uh, no exception to that rule. So you have to make sure that you comply with those time constraints. In a product's liability case, you need to prove two things. One, that the product was defective that it was unreasonably dangerous and it was put onto the market by the manufacturer. And secondly, you need to prove that that product uh, caused your injury, that that defect, that the fact that it was unsafe led to the injuries that you sustained. And in the course of proving those two things, you also have to prove a number of other things. You have to prove, number one, that the, that the manufacturer actually did manufacture the product and that it was in the same condition it was in at the time they manufactured it. Damages in any personal injury case, which is also a product's liability case, are for the injuries that you sustain. If you lose an arm or if you lose a leg, you, you can and will be compensated for the pain and the discomfort and the suffering that you've undergone as a result of that, that injury. You will also be allowed to recover for what's called lost wages. That is, if you were employed and you can't work anymore, you can be reimbursed for all of the time and the money you've lost as a result of that injury. No, in fact, these claims for products liability and for any personal injury case are handled on what's called a contingency fee basis. That is, we don't charge you, we don't ask you for any money until or unless we collect money for you at the end. So that any kind of costs that are associated with investigating the case, in filing the case, in handling the case are all advanced by your attorneys. And after the case is completed, those costs are reimbursed to us and our fee is paid to us.